<laughs> what? Those are good phones. Like actually good phones? Like I shouldn't destroy them good phones? No. Kidding guys, I didn't actually destroy one of the new phones. It's just one of the old Wish smartphones. Actually, it's like an iPhone 6, but it was already destroyed. I'm not gonna destroy any of these. Th well, I'm not gonna make any promises, but I don't plan on destroying any of these today because we got what should be some actually good phones to review. Instead of buying a bunch of knockoff phones off Wish like we did last time, we went on Amazon and we bought the cheapest phones we could find on there, and we're gonna compare them to the phones we bought off Wish. Now, I have high expectations that these are gonna be better than the phones we bought off Wish because they actually had decent reviews and basically these are all budget phones. So I'm gonna be helping you guys out for once. Well, I mean, I like to think I'm normally helping you guys out, but this time I'm really gonna be helping you guys out because I'm gonna be telling you which are the best budget phones to buy off of Amazon or if it's better to just go to Wish. But with that being said, let's head back a couple days to when we were shopping on Amazon. So as you guys can see here, we've got smartphones and um, we're gonna buy some of them. <laughs> I really didn't plan anything out for this video. We're looking for relatively cheap options so that it's a fair comparison. I don't want to buy like an actual brand new iPhone. Give me the Amazon choice one. Umi DG X in screen fingerprint unlocked cell phones. I, why do I just feel like I'm on Wish? But it's Amazon. Like the, the weird titles, everything. I guess we're adding it to the car. I'm not even going to read it, you know, like... Readings for chumps. Just kidding, same school kids. Samsung Galaxy 8, is this actually a Samsung? <laughs> I'm so skeptical because I spent too much time on Wish. Like there's no way this could be the real deal. Galaxy A20, 32 gig. Hey Jay, are these good? Samsung Galaxy A20, but it's like a real phone. Okay, all right, we're adding it, 230 bucks. This is opening up my eyes to other options. I always spend a thousand dollars every time I buy a new iPhone, but maybe there's other things. I don't have to do that. I feel like Aladdin on the magic carpet. Motorola Moto G7. These all have such high ratings. Like maybe I won't destroy these phones I feel like what's the what's their slogan hello moto factory unlock we're getting another one Whew, this cart is uh it's filling up we are spending quite a bit more on all these phones I, I think this is more expensive than every single one of the phones we got off wish but i have high expectations zte blade 124 bucks 124 bucks is pretty good for like an actual smartphone that's that, i feel like that's really good that's pretty much what we were spending on wish and well we all know what happened to those I think we need one more five phones one for each finger let's go to the next page i should buy things off like page 20 on amazon it's like the depths of amazon i feel like that could be a vibe guys let me know buying stuff from the last page of amazon let me know if you guys want to see that way honor 10 way it was like i was saying hey honor 10 and i don't know what i'm talking about five phones these are the cheapest phones the cheaper end of the phones we could find on Amazon. Only two of them are over 200 bucks. And we're going to see how these compare to the Wish phone. I promise I won't destroy all of them this time. I, I, I have to destroy at least one. But I won't destroy all of them. And you know what? If we get over 30,000 likes on this video, I'll give away the good ones. Probably the Motorola and the Samsung Galaxy. I'll give those away to you guys. Okay, so 30K likes. Go smash the like button right now. And I'll see you when everything comes in. All right, this is our first phone and our cheapest phone. It went for 79 Canadian, I think, give or take. It's a little bit cheaper if you're in the US. It's the Alcatel Tetra OT 5041C, if that matters. Now the box is pretty basic, but that's not what we're here for. We want to check out this phone. For all the tech guys out there, I normally don't do this, but I'm gonna give you the specs, all right? It's cheap and it works. Okay, seriously though, it's not the best quality. It doesn't have the best display. It doesn't have the best battery life. It doesn't have the best anything. In fact, it has pretty below average most things, but it's 70 bucks, so you get what you pay for. But now that we got that out of the way, let's turn it on and do a little bit more in-depth review and see if this phone will survive the hammer of doom. All right, powered by Android. It's very lightweight, I will say that. It's like a feather in your hand. See, let's check out the game. Any games? Maybe not. Do they not have the YouTube app on this phone? What? Okay, they do. I was about to be stressed. Okay, so we're on YouTube and I'll be honest with you guys, the display is, it's pretty bad. If you're looking to have a decent viewing experience, this is not the phone for you. Speaker's not very good either. I mean, you are only paying 70 bucks for it, so your expectations should be relatively low, but this is still pretty low. This is on par, if not worse, than some of the Wish phones. But the main thing we gotta check out here, as you guys know, is the camera. We're all about Instagram. 
Instagram these days. We can take some banging pics. Oh Lord, that's not pretty. <laughs> oh no, it's just cause I was looking at Jay. My bad. I'm not gonna use the forward facing camera. A lot of you guys roasted me for that in the last one. Let's take a picture of a better phone. Oh, you know what? Overall, this phone's trash, but it is 70 bucks. So it depends what you're trying to get it for. Unless all you're trying to do is maybe have phone calls and texts. Th this is probably just a bad phone. Or if you're like trying to give your kid a phone for the first time, they're like 10 and you're like, here's a phone so you can call me on your way home from school or something like that, then this could be decent. But for pretty much any other purpose, I would say you can probably get a better budget phone than this one. With that being said, we gotta leave ourselves a little Amazon review. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's my first time ever in my life writing an Amazon review. So I'm channeling what I imagine people who write Amazon reviews on the regular do. Eating a bag of chips, probably mad at the world, sitting at their computer, just talking shit about a product. I'm sure there's plenty of people who don't fit into that, okay? I'm just I'm just saying, that's what I envision. I'm trying to channel that right now, all right? And to be honest, the only reason I'm doing this is because I saw a video of someone reacting to Amazon reviews. It was actually hilarious. Some of them were really, really funny. Let's give it the stars. How old are you? <clears throat> because if you're between the ages of 13 and 67, this is probably not the phone for you because it kind of sucks. Not to be harsh, that's not what I'm here to do, but it's the truth. That's all I have to say. Not bad, not bad. All right, we submitted our first Amazon review. All right, our next phone is the Umi DG A3 Pro. All right, let's do the tech part. Are you guys ready? <coughs> Here's a picture. This is the best part of an unboxing, ladies and gentlemen. Oh! Peel porn, baby. This definitely seems like it's modeled after the iPhone. It has a similar feel, similar shape. Some people might even think this was an iPhone, but it's not. It's an Android. It's an Umi DG. While we wait for this to turn on, guys, just in case you forgot, always remember, smash the like button. <laughs> I'm gonna just leave this here in case you forget. Hi there, connect. If you have SIM cards, insert them now. No. Now I'll be honest with you guys, I haven't turned this on yet, but this phone feels a lot better quality right away than the other phone. It comes with a case already on it. Oh wow, if you take the case off, it looks even more like an iPhone. Now this phone is $119 Canadian, which means it's probably like 80, 70 or $80 US. Relatively cheap phone, just a little bit more than the Alcatel one. And so far I already would pick this over that. Ooh, it's got a little fingerprint vibe. My fingerprint screen is on the front for the iPhone. I haven't used one where it's on the back like this, but it's actually kind of slick. Okay, we got our fingerprint added. Oh. Little tune right away. Ooh, this feels a little more sleek. Gotta go to YouTube. I mean, we're on YouTube watching videos right now, you and me both. The screen is a 5.0 inch HD plus 1899 aspect ratio, and it's a 720p screen. So that's pretty good. I think that's a big upgrade on the other one. The speaker's kind of quiet. The quality of the video is good. The screen display is solid. It's definitely not up to par with expensive new phones, but I mean, I wouldn't expect that for under $100 on the phone. Overall, I would say this phone is definitely a little bit better than our last phone, especially when you consider you're not actually spending that much more money. Of course, we gotta test the camera. It's okay, nothing to like get excited about. The video quality is actually way better than I expected after the picture. Camera is 12 megapixel plus five megapixel, and then the front's eight megapixel. It's all right, definitely better better than the last camera, and I would say better than most of the Wish phones that we got. I gotta say, for a hundred bucks or under, this is a pretty wavy phone. But we've got three phones left, so let's not count those ones out just yet. All right, guys, it's time for our Umi DG A3 Pro Mobile Phone Unlock Dual 4G review. Did I inhale some of my chip? I'm gonna actually give this a four star. <coughs> What the hell is happening? <laughs> no wonder they're so pissed when they write these reviews. I like it, it a lot. Good phones. Highly recommend. Go buy. Good phone. <laughs> All right, next phone is the ZTE Blade Z Max. It actually gives you a lot of the specs right on the front. So this time for you tech guys, I'll read it. Six inch full HD display, 16 plus two megapixel dual rear cameras, 32 gigabytes of internal memory, and a 4,080 milliwatts per hour battery with fast charging. That's a lot of great features that mean a whole lot of not much to me. But 16 megapixels is actually pretty good, I think, for the camera. It's big. It's almost like a tablet size definitely more like an iPhone plus or something like that as you can see much much larger by the way guys since I'm not gonna be destroying these phones I am going to give you guys the opportunity to win some of them in a giveaway if we get over 30,000 likes on this video I'm gonna give away all of these phones to you guys all you got to do to enter the giveaway is go check out my Instagram and comment on my last picture hi that's it just comment hi <laughs> It is definitely the thinnest phone as well. It's quite a bit thinner than all the other ones. All set. Let's check out the camera right away. I'm going straight into it. What? I'm saying it's beefing. It figured out I'm testing out another phone. It got stressed. Okay, dual camera allows you to take photos in a variety of ways. Cool, manual mode, cool. They've got a whole tutorial for it. All right, photo. 
The same one. Ooh. When taking a selfie, look at the selfie indicator in order to capture natural expressions. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, maybe it's trying. Oh, it's making you look towards the camera instead of look at yourself. That's actually kind of smart. This might be the best, uh, the best one yet. And when I say might, I think it is, folks. I think it is. The video. That's what we care the most about, folks. Ooh. Okay, this is actually surprisingly good. This might be a winner. I, I mean, we still have two more, but the picture quality, the video quality is really really good. It's only $5 more than the Umi DG and it's definitely better quality. Let's check out the viewing experience. Is it Vibez? I haven't said Vibez in a while, but you guys stop saying you don't like it when I say vibes. So I didn't feel the need to change it. So, you know, maybe, maybe me addressing it was a good thing. You guys like the vibes. Ooh, this is good quality. I like it. I, I, I rate it. I would also say it's the best speakers. That's always a good thing. I want a Lamborghini. Anyways, <clears throat> enough of that. Uh, yeah, good viewing experience, good camera. It's good, overall it's good. It's got a lot of decent specs for only $5 more than the Umi DG. I'ma say this is, is gonna be a better option for around $100 for you if you want a phone. You got, you got everything you could ask for in reality. So let's smash it. I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. Jay had a heart attack. He's already literally, I knew he was staring at me. So the ZTE was kind of a vibe. It has very good ratings here actually. So overall rating, can only give it a four or five. I'm give it a five on the overall rating fingerprint reader was good battery life was good value for money was really I, I actually think it was a really good phone overall i don't have anything to complain about five stars seems a little strong but i can't give it four i would rather give it four and a half it's got to be realistic i'm not actually trying to throw people off here okay okay so it says what did you like or dislike what did you use this product for to be honest you don't want to know what i used it for let's just say when using it for this secretive purpose it worked flawlessly you all know what i'm talking about the screen is big. <laughs> I could get the hang of this. This is kind of fun. It is time for the final two phones. These phones are the most expensive. They still count as budget phones, but we're upping the price. We're basically doubling the price. So I have high expectations in comparison to the other phones right now. You know, there should be a substantial difference in quality, in feel, in camera, in specs i won't understand but don't worry about it we're gonna do a one-on-one -on -one test because both these phones are about the same price they're in the same realm these are more competitive with each other we've got the moto g7 power i like that power and we've got the samsung galaxy a20 i'm pretty sure i got a knockoff version of this off wish i'm a big fan of the fact that they put all the specs on the phone the moto g7 power has 5000 milliwatt amp hour plus Turbo power. Might as well be Japanese. Pantalia Max Vision HD plus the six and a half inch. What's the? <laughs> Qual Qualcomm Snapdragon 632. 12 megapixel plus eight megapixel camera. Experiences Moto Lector de Huela Digital. Okay, so maybe it said the because it's Spanish. Very interesting. Yeah, it's fully a Spanish version of the phone, but good thing I'm fluent. I'm not fluent. I wish I was. Let the peel porn begin. Oh, come on. Is there a job where you can just peel off phone covers? Let's move on before we actually power this up and check out our Samsung Galaxy A20. It's a super AMOLED. <laughs> Super AMO LED, I'm guessing. Holy hell. We've also got the Infinity V display and a dual camera. I don't know why I like every other camera gave the full specs. This is just like a very brief overview. Oh, also the peel just wasn't as satisfying. You know, that's really what I'm paying for here. A good old peel. Where's the appeal without the peel? <laughs> Also in Spanish. When life gives you lemons, you make lemonade. So when life gives you Spanish instructions, you read them in Spanish. Procesador octa-core, pantela de siente was. I don't remember my numbers. 162 millimeters, 6.4 inches, rectangulo completo. Wait, is this Italian? Pantela de 157.9 millimeters, esquinas redondela de dedas HD plus. <laughs> Plus. <laughs> camera posterior. Oh, that's two. That means the back camera is doble, two. 13 megapixels plus five megapixels. Oh, I just realized it says the English version right underneath it. So that was embarrassing. 13 megapixel plus five megapixel dual rear, rear camera and Pantela Infinity B. For all my tech people out there, Hopefully that counts. I don't know, like, is that is that good enough? Let me know. If you're a tech guy and you clicked on this because you want a real, raw, authentic, proper review, was that sufficient? You know, I could, I guess I could do more if that's what the people want, but I feel like you guys want me to just destroy phones. All right, we're gonna power on both phones. And we are gonna compare and see which one of these two is better. You know which one's better of these two? 
this one. <laughs> I, I did that just to trigger all the people who hate Apple in the comment section. Why did I get Spanish stuff? I have a new like goal for you, okay? In the last one, I said 30,000 likes and I'm getting a Tesla Cybertruck and you guys snapped. I, I, I've i never seen that kind of like ratio on a video. So you guys must really like these Tesla Cybertrucks. And then in the second video, just to spice things up a little because it's not like I don't spend enough money as is. I said, I'll get 10 Cybertrucks. And it's, it's looking like you guys are gonna smash that goal again as well. So you know what? 70,000 likes, I'm buying 100 Cybertrucks. Okay, I'm just kidding. That's good. I, I'm already stressed out enough about the 10. I'm low key kind of praying you guys stop liking that video just so that we don't hit it because you're like halfway there right now. I'm buying all these cyber trucks, so I don't really have a need for my Model 3 anymore. So you know what? I will try and make it bulletproof, probably fail at making it bulletproof and, and shoot it. Like I'll actually shoot my Tesla with a gun. If we get over 50,000 likes on this video, I may cry in that video too. So it, it should be pretty interesting. Go ahead, smash the like button. I mean, the main thing we really need to judge here is the background. I mean, look at this Samsung background. That's that shit looks wavy. It looks like some old school big name painter did the back. Maybe, maybe they did. I don't know. All right, we're gonna do a speed test. Which one is the fastest? Click on both these. Three, two, one. Oh, okay. Overall, I'm giving the speed test so far to the Samsung when it comes to the internet. Major key. When you're spending this much money, I expect a solid quality camera. All right, we got our trusty little truck. Let's take a pic. Ooh, the camera's looking good. Video mode, slow-mo. Ooh, okay, we got to test out the slow-mo. Definitely loses some quality when you put it into slow-mo, but the fact that they have it at all is, is kind of nice on a phone that's this much cheaper than a regular phone. This is not bad, guys. This looks good. This looks really good, actually. Everything is good on this phone, honestly. It's got the best battery life of any of the phones by far that we've uh, checked out today. All right, guys, I'm gonna be honest with you. When I first started this and I said you're miserable eating chips if you leave reviews, <laughs> have to take that back because I am far from miserable right now. I actually might just start doing this for fun. But we've got our Motorola Moto G7 Power and it's time to leave a review, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna give it the four stars. Fingerprint reader, didn't use it. Good battery life. The value for money was honestly really impressive. What did you like or dislike? What did you use this product for? I disliked that I hadn't got this phone sooner. You know what I mean? Bang for buck is incredible. Highly recommended. Just so they think I'm uneducated. <laughs> Hit that buy button, baby. Boom, come on. I should get paid to write these reviews. Hello, Moto. <laughs> I had to fit it in there somewhere. Back to the unboxing. Samsung Health, they've got a whole bunch of cool little apps in here. Some nice, nice built-in apps. Time to check out El Camera. We might have a winner, folks. This camera looks really good. To be honest, my, my memory is super short term. I'm like the girl from 50 First Dates. Hmm. You let me know what you think, but I would have to give the edge to the A20. Just barely, but I think it's a little bit better. Now let's test out the video. It's not bad. The the, the front camera is not bad at all. Oh, they, you can change the ISO and the white balance and everything on this. That's actually really handy. Both phones in general have a lot of the same features. Man, it's hard to say which one is better. I guess the camera's slightly better on the A20. The A20 was a little bit faster in our speed test. I think I'm gonna have to give it to the A20, though the Motorola does have more battery uh, power. So if you want, that if you want if you're out all day every day and you're sick and tired of charging your phone maybe that's the better bet but i think i'm gonna go with the samsung galaxy considering what you normally pay for a brand new phone this is still a really good deal now ladies and gentlemen it's time for the moment of truth we have all our phones here which one is going to be the winner i think we all know it's not gonna be the alcatel phone okay it was 70 bucks for a reason it's 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 just not a good phone i think the umi dg has to be the fourth place phone now it comes down to our final three phones We've got the Motorola, the A20, and the ZTE. The ZTE is less than half the price of these other two phones. These phones are better. I think I'm going to have to say the ZTE for what you're paying might be a better option than the Motorola. It's tight. I don't know for sure. I didn't do a super in-depth review and I am definitely not a pro tech guy. So I don't know what I'm talking about. But if you guys want me to do these reviews, then I'm gonna just tell you how I see it right now. Feel free to let me know if I'm wrong in the comment section or if you guys think a certain phone is better but overall i'm gonna have to give the edge to the samsung a20 it is a better phone and yes it's double the price but 200 bucks for something you use every single day all day i think it's worth spending that extra to get a better phone all right guys it's time for the final review the review of the winner 
What? Okay, let's, let's try that again. It's time for the final review. The best phone we got, Samsung Galaxy A20. What do you mean you couldn't fetch the page? What? Did they discontinue it? Huh? I'm confused. Where, where did our phone go? I bought it like a week ago. Uh, I guess we can't leave a review on the best phone. That's really unfortunate because I was going to say I'm a certified tech review channel and it was the best phone, the best budget phone on Amazon. That's so disappointing. Well, I guess there's nothing much left to do besides head back and smash something. All right, ladies and gentlemen. It's the end of the video and you all know what that means. Something has to get smashed. It's just the way these videos work. I don't make the rules. Maybe I make the rules, but that's not important. I made the rules and now I have to follow them. So something has to get smashed right now. And you know what? Normally it would be what we were reviewing, but I'm actually very impressed with all these phones. And to be honest, I would rather just give them away to you guys. Cause I know some of you guys need some phones and you could use these. So even if I destroyed this Alcatel phone, which is kind of dookie and well, maybe nobody could use it. Somebody I know would be down to take this phone. Today we're switching things up. I'm saving all the phones and instead I'm going to smash our RC car. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to smash the like button. As always, thank you so much for watching and I will catch you next time. You just put your hand over it and then put it on the screen. Yeah, there you go.